when I was training for SEAL training, one of the workouts I would do, because I know that uh, grip strength is very important, is I would go to the monkey bars and try to go sideways working on grip, doing pull-ups, different variations of pull-ups, holding them on top, coming down, holding them while I'm down, coming up, holding them, holding them while I'm down, transferring over. Really good for your, uh, your grip, your form, Concentrate on everything you're doing. The longer you can do this, the better you are. It's a good workout for seal training. One thing I found out in my life, I used to always want people to accept me and like me. So I became who they were. If you like something and I ain't like it, I liked it because you liked it. Become unapologetic of who the fuck you are in your life. If you get after it and you're a hard motherfucker, get after it. You gotta make yourself better than what you think you are. And what that requires is people not fucking understand you, not know you, not get you at all. Look at you like you're off. Look at you like you have a problem. Don't worry about that shit. Be unapologetic. Get after it, stay hard. Be who the fuck you are. And I've seen a lot of great men, strong men quit. And I'd ask them, you know, how'd they train? And they say, I swam, I ran, I did all these things. And um, the one thing they never talk about is the mental aspect of it. So you put a person who's physically trained in a mentally tough situation and things happen real bad. What that means is, you know, you put a guy in cold water and he's physically trained and he's not mentally trained about all of his insecurities in life and everything else he hasn't dealt with. He's going to make up a lot of excuses on why he needs to quit something. And he's going to wonder why, what happened? I trained so hard. I physically trained so hard. But that mental aspect of everything is the most important thing. So don't set your goals and everything without making sure you set your mind right and handle your insecurities. As, as many of you know, I do a lot of running. I get a lot of questions about strength training with running. Strength training and running, they, they go together, but heavy lifting, you know, really doesn't. I used to deadlift 600 pounds when I was a real big guy, as you all know, when I was like 300 pounds. Now I deadlift about over 400 pounds, but I still believe in doing that along with running. So running 100 miles and deadlifting 400 pounds, over 400 pounds, always been a goal of mine. So I strongly believe in doing both. squatting races, doing different things like that that take up a lot of lactic acid. What I do a lot of when I was training for these different events is I would do nickels and dimes. Nickels and dimes, basically, I try to do five pull-ups, around 10 push-ups, come right back. These training scenarios really try to work your lactic acid and basically what you want to do is not have the lactic acid form so you can continue on training and not be pushed too bad. Your forearms get depleted, your forearms get messed up, you can't grab anything, and that's it. Stay hard. <laughs> 